give in to the lesser fight My body aches to be satisfied My weakness comes and goes Ew, no one likes chrome headlights. And everybody loves blacked out headlights. For the sixth episode of the Evo X project series we're doing, I'll be blacking out the headlight housings. Before we get started on that, I want to give a quick shout out to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I believe we just hit 350 subs, so it's just crazy. People actually want to watch my videos. So let's get to removing the headlights and blacking them out. The process of blacking out headlights on a car is pretty much the same for pretty much any car there is. Uh, it'll be specific to an Evo, really like removing the headlights, removing the bumper, and disassembling the headlight itself. But actually, what you're painting should be all the same, but you're just painting all the, all the chrome inside the headlight. Now that the headlight is off, you can preheat the oven. I'll throw it at 250 degrees. Now that the oven is preheating, we're gonna take off everything on the back of the headlight. So the bulbs, ballast, and all the wiring, and any other random little stuff that's on there that you don't want in the oven, go ahead and remove all that. My weakness comes in. Now that all the wiring is removed from the headlight, you need to take off all the screws and clips holding the lens to the, to the headlight housing. So there's a few screws on the outer edge and then a clip here you need to remove. We're going to be leaving the headlight in the oven for about 10 minutes. If it still doesn't come apart, we're going to have to put it in longer. So the, the reason you put it in the oven is so you can get all the glue holding the headlight lens to the housing. You can get all that warm so it'll separate. Now that it's apart, you need to figure out what exactly you want uh, painted black. We're going to be doing a complete blackout on these, so the turn signal, the whole chrome housing, that's just the daytime running light on this car. A lot of cars, that would be the high beam bolt, which you don't want to black that out or else you won't have any high beams. And the side marker light, we're going to do all black. Now that you have everything apart, you need to remove the projector from the actual 
part of your painting black, you don't want to obviously paint the projector lens or else your headlights will not be bright at all. So these are the four pieces we're going to be painting black. Uh, I would recommend wiping them down with some sort of acetone or cleaner before spraying them. And the paint we're using is Rust-Oleum. It's Ultra Cover, uh, supposedly paint and primer. But the reason I get this stuff is because it says it is good for plastic. I've used this on every single set of headlights I've ever done and it's always been fine. Never chips or fades or anything. You're going to want to look over all the parts and pieces make sure there's no uh, chrome showing through before you reassemble. Now that everything is painted, we can start the assembly process. Just the reverse of taking everything apart. Now that the headlight is all back together with all the painted black pieces in it, we need to put it back in the oven. So preheat the oven to 200 degrees and as soon as, as, soon as it's done preheated, put the headlight back in for another 10 minutes. Once you get the headlight out of the oven, you need to <clears throat> push the lens on as far as it'll go and try to get these little tabs on the on the headlight lens to get onto the housing. My weakness comes and goes, it goes, it goes. My weakness echoes in my soul. Oh, it echoes in as soon as you get all these little tabs onto the headlight uh, lens, you can go put all the screws in that one clip back on. Headlight is complete. After you get all the screws on, you can put it back in the oven for another five minutes just to make sure <coughs> all of the sealant on the whole outside edges is uniform to the headlight so you don't have any leaks or and no moisture getting in there. If you end up getting any of the glue on the lens, just grab some acetone and it should wipe off. Now that everything is done with the headlight, we need to put all the wiring back on and the ballast.
down though, it's so much better. Highly recommend it. See forks. Because we took the whole headlight apart, it's gonna mess with the alignment of the beam. So just simply put the car up against a wall and align the headlight we took apart to the, to be the same as the headlight that we have not messed with. My weakness comes in. I hope you got some sort of information or entertainment out of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video, guys. My weakness comes and goes.